Oh, just Christian Van Dyke is here. This is a huge forecast because, because of course, we got everybody traveling yeah. Wednesday. Thanksgiving week. It is here, right? I am ready to eat some turkey. Yeah, oh, you too. guys, me yeah? Too. I'm ready for the <laughs> good old that. food. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about what's going to happen for your Thanksgiving and overall. Hold on, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> if I'm walking along the waterfront, I don't want to be under that turkey. <laughs> I don't right think there. that turkey <laughs> wants to be seen either walking <laughs> along the waterfront. He's probably scared right now. Uh, he runs scared anyway. So take a look at the forecast here. Not looking too bad. I think our best shot at getting rain will be in the morning and a lot of it looks like it could actually come uh, before 10 a.m. So uh, this is for your Thursday. We'll start off in the upper 40s around 50 degrees. It's not going to be too chilly. It'll be cool, but not too chilly. Right on par for where we really should be for this time of the year, if not a little bit above average for the morning. Going into the afternoon, highs should be right around the mid 50s, mostly cloudy skies. There will be that potential that we may see a stray shower here and there, but it's not going to be a washout for us by any means. That's not a what it looks like at this point anyway. And then as we head towards the evening hours, mostly cloudy skies, and I still think our shower chances are going down. Now, late tomorrow night, or late Thursday night, I should say, going into your Friday, Black Friday, there does look like there's going to be the potential for this next cold front to come through, and that's going to bring in that potential for some very wet, wet weather for us on that Friday. That can linger into the weekend. So the shopping weather, not looking too fantastic at this point. Uh, but your Wednesday, Thursday, looking pretty decent. Uh, Mount Batcher got to open up today, 9 to 4 p.m. Very excited skiers up there taking advantage of that. Take a look at the ski report. Uh, Mount Hood Meadows was opened on a limited basis this past weekend, Timberline 2. And uh, right now, the base right at about two feet for Timberline and Mount Hood Meadows. Six to ten inches of new snow there just within the past 24 hours. We did pick up right around a foot or more over the weekend. Ski bowl, four inches of snow over the last 24 hours. And Mount Bachelor, uh, you got your snow on the front end over the past three days, right? Right around a foot of snow, but none just within the last 24 hours. The tough thing we're going to have to overcome is just this warm air pouring in, and that's going to mean the snow level going up where we're looking at mainly rain falling, unfortunately, for the ski resorts as we head through uh, the overnight hours tonight. But Thursday, as that next system starts to roll in, Thursday night, uh, the big one I was talking about, that one will bring in some cold air with it, and that's going to bring in some good snow, as it looks right now for the Cascades and the ski resorts. The holiday weekend still looking good. Uh, your forecast as we head through the night, we'll watch these light rain showers continue to develop, and they'll move through the Portland area. Uh, staying mainly north of Salem, uh, temperatures in the upper 40s will stay very close to that for the rest of the night. Temperatures really won't fall far from here at all. Uh, so a mild evening ahead and it will be wet at times, but mainly light to occasionally moderate rain. Uh, we'll track it here with your rain and cloud forecast and you see the rain mainly impacting areas to our north, but the coast range cascade still picking up on it. Uh, this is 7 a.m. The commute uh, will be wet at times, especially the farther north you go. You get into southwest Washington and quite a bit more rain around there. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, we'll continue with rain chances and a lot of cloud cover. Central and eastern Oregon looking pretty dry for you tomorrow. We may see a stray shower or two, but a lot of the activity stays to the north as we head into Wednesday. The big travel day, that looks great. It looks dry for all of us. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be in the upper 50s. We'll do the upper 50s too uh, for your Wednesday, but we won't have any chances for showers. And then Thursday arrives and we'll have that chance for a spotty shower too. Your forecast for the coast in the mid to upper 50s for highs, a light rain, mainly up to the north of Tillamook. Right along I-5, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, uh, mainly cloud cover down south towards Salem, central and east, a few scattered showers, highs in the 40s, cascades, uh, the snow level at 8,000 feet tomorrow. It will come back down again once we get towards the end of the week. And here's a look at your seven-day forecast. And again, the big travel day Wednesday looking good as long as you stay within the region. If you're headed out to the east coast, I'll tell you this, it looks like it could be pretty bad. Really? Yeah, snow? big storm system looking to bring in a lot of cold, a lot of snow up the seaward. We'll take a sneak peek at that coming up in about half an hour. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, well, Kristen. at least we But looks good here. Thanks. All right. All right. <laughs>